Hello, Grey Couch family. This Hello. is Stanley and <laughs> Otito. And um, we feel like we haven't been, we feel like we've been gone forever, for right? We've had so many people come. If you haven't seen those episodes, you want to go check them out, mm-hmm. right? So many guests on the show. So uh, for the second half of the year, we want to welcome ourselves Back. and welcome you and all of our new subscribers yeah <laughs> i know right <laughs> so what's today's uh, what's today's conversation about, about power and projection mm-hmm. uh patriarchy right okay. Okay. hear me out hear me out here i think it's... when we talk about patriarchy right people get the wrong ideas mm-hmm. and i'm thinking who wouldn't because the word itself is kind of triggering right it's kind of like when you say feminism and then you just watch people just tune you out if they don't tune you out they will fight with you right on social media but uh coming back to it i remember when i used to talk to stan about this and i would say you know part of our socialization just because we're from africa nigeria right is because of patriarchy and he would argue the bazookas out with me right until i i think i kind of kind of found the words that i was looking for from sociology and that's when you think about patriarchy is a societal system of power and by power i don't mean like official state power but more like where you have you know head of household where children are named after the the dads right not after the dads but you're named from the patriarchal side except for ghana yeah. i know right well <laughs> just ghana but mm-hmm. mostly but then today the question is that we are in uncertain times right when it's time where foundations are shifting uh whether the structures of the house is shifting but the unseen foundations are still there and so some people want to keep the old some people want to bring the new and to we're kind of not sure. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so there's a lot of uncertainty i would say and i think that's what causes that push and pull and to me it leads to projection on both sides right okay so a lot of big words thrown around what exactly do you mean by projection so we're on the same page <sighs> well i think if you think about the classic uh, definition or example is where uh you kind of push your unwanted feelings and emotions onto another person now those emotions and feelings could be due to any number of things okay. and instead of dealing with that we kind of push them outward that's what we call projection right mm. to the other person so um how does that impact impact men in the context of uh, our topic today as in how exactly what exactly the bo- nuts and bo- the nuts and bolts of it Okay, if you can see me sweating, it's the summer. Well, (laughs) (laughs) it's the summer, I can tell you. Well, you know, we keep saying it's a patriarchal system, right? And everyone has this sense of power. But then men and women, men, even women, will go out into a society that probably doesn't value our labor the way it should. And you face other indignities. So where you feel like you're supposed to be the leader, but then you get to work and things are being like suppressed right in that sense and so we learn to uh if, if we don't learn to compartmentalize and basically leave things at work or leave them in god's hand right mm-hmm. then the only other place that you might be able to express the you know frustration frustration thank you very much mm-hmm. might be at home right so yeah so again, I'm not getting this projection thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, can we use an example of something that happened to us, something <laughs> that can make it tangible? Okay, so uh, you remember pickleball? Uh-oh. Like you? <laughs> oh, okay. So mm-hmm. part of you know distressing, right? Releasing the tension is exercise. If you can mm-hmm. find group exercise, find things. That's good, right? These kind of the things that they tell you to do. Mm-hmm. And so it turns out that. Uh, we have had a Sunday tradition for a few years running now uh, of, you know, both of us, a nice tradition. If you want to learn more, you want to go to the book, right? Go to the book. But then the people that you found, right, with this mm-hmm. new pickleball, of, let me try pickleball since racquetball is becoming more of a, uh, you know, um, very 
will I say semi-dangerous spots or whatever? I cannot say. But he decided to try people ball. Now it turns out that the people that play people ball, they don't go to church on Sunday, right? <laughs> so they said Sunday is the day that they want to play. And so Stan is like, I want to go and play with them. I'm like, okay. But remember that we have something that we do on Sunday. We also go to church on Sunday. It's like, you know, and but maybe I can make it work. I'm like, I did not say you should go and play, but remember that consequences, uh, decisions have consequences, right? What do you want the tradition and the church or you want to do pickleball? So it's like, okay, I will wake up very early. I will go, but it starts at 7.30. So first Sunday, we kind of try to... You make know, it work make it work but mm-hmm. it was so tight so tight right because uh yeah let's just say it was just tight because this was a new thing that would require time to drive to the court and drive back right so there's all of that and so it's like okay you know thank you for making it work for me i'm like okay then you come around the next week and you're like just for your information i told the guys that i will not be able to make it you know and uh I hope you're happy. I'm like, what does this have to do with me? <laughs> you know, you can totally go for your pickleball. Mm-hmm. But you said, if, you know, it will interfere with our decision. I said, I said that because that's just the fact. Like, don't make this about me at all. You can go for your pickleball, but know that something will be lost here. You know, and I said, you know you're projecting and I'm like no i just wanted to know i said what's the point of wanting me to know if you are not going for pickle boy you just don't go for pickle boy you don't have to come and tell me so i can be feeling guilty right i refuse <laughs> to feel guilty about this and so he was like oh it's not projection i said mm, but then why are you telling me i'm just telling you fyi i said do you tell me fyi for other things that you decide not to do no send why this pickleball one right so very pickly <laughs> i'm i'm trying not to sound defensive uh-huh. i'm trying very hard to sound defensive mm-hmm. since you guys are, are listening however however this particular instance, I felt the decision affected both of us. Ow. <laughs> uh, well, I would be gone uh-huh. as opposed to being around. Uh-huh. And we had decided the first thing together. So this FYI thing is just, okay, I, I, I can see how you might see it's projection if I'm if it, I'm trying to enforce my will. But honestly, this is like FYI so that mm-hmm. you know the sacrifices. But what sacrifice? <laughs> You know the, the sacrifice <laughs> that's the projection that I have because I had nothing to, to do around. with the decision and now you're saying to me you want me to know so I can be feeling bad I don't feel bad but is you you have to make the decision to say do I want this or do I want that and be willing to bear the mm-hmm. I mean I I I so I I now okay, thanks for the example I get <laughs> I get projection uh-huh. I might, might be onto something there. yeah but back to this patriarchy thing right I I think that men we are in a, a little bit of a quagmire we are told I mean the model for manhood has changed but unfortunately there are no models for us to watch and for I think Trevor Noah said something to that effect that I can't hold on them. are you how do you mean that the model for manhood has changed right it's still a patriarchal system. I just think that people are finding now new ways of being. I, I think so, no? I don't well, I don't exactly agree. Okay. I mean it's still a patriarchal for the whole for the vast, for the, for yeah. the vast majority. Mm-hmm. But among my circles and Christian men mm-hmm. that are exactly we want to be a more more egalitarian, if I can use that word, more mm-hmm. balanced. That's mm-hmm. okay. It's not just how we grow up as in your father said something yeah, that, and was, that was law. it no yeah, arguments yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. To be, but then there are no models so you're, mm-hmm. you're wondering okay how far is too much mm-hmm. how much of it is being a sissy mm-hmm. how much of it is not it's is is listening to the other part of it there are, there are no models so mm-hmm. while you women are saying oh it's a man's word it's a man's word it's a man's mm-hmm. those of us that are men here sometimes we're like what exactly are these people talking Where's about oh, I... <laughs> you know um, okay uh-huh. yeah so okay. 
So this uh, that that picks up take the pickleball example. Let me uh-huh. segue back on it. You know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I thought I was being egalitarian, saying even though I personally wanted to go and play a game, mm-hmm. and you can tell from my quote unquote projection that I would have liked to go play a game. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, let me step back and be available for my family. Mm-hmm. You know, and so in giving you that information, you see that projection. Uh, no, I completely <laughs> disagree. Which is why I'm saying, if you go to the book, you will know what the tradition is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, forgotten about that one. Mm-hmm. It's self-interest, you know. It's self-interest. Sunday. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for the oh, it's well, self-interest. Okay, okay. okay. It should be being available for your family. Mm-hmm. 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 go. I it's, it's, it's just <laughs> it's being available for the family. All all members of the family. Okay. <laughs> what member? All the members. Third, all the members. third member. All members of yeah. the family. But honestly, like, I feel like this pickleball one is so funny because, and that's why I said to you, decisions have consequences. But you were trying to make it that I wasn't letting you go for pickleball. And I said, it has nothing to do with me at all. Hmm. You understand? If these people have picked Sunday, you have to decide, is Sunday a day that I, okay, Chuku, Stanley, Apple, I'm ready to sacrifice. And if that's okay for you, that's okay by me. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. So, how do we wrap this up? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is a conversation we'll keep coming back to, which yep. was why I was at the beginning. I said, hear me out, hear me out. Because when people talk about paycheck, it's like, ah, you know. But it's this idea of saying that there are many ways that we are socialized. And here's the thing, you know you want a certain thing you don't get it then you come back and you push it on the other person right i feel like that's what today is and how that impacts dynamics and so if you're asking how we wrap it up to me i feel like you know i've said it that there's the culture and there's your culture right what do you want i always ask that question because once we can get to the basics of what we want life will be easier right number one right if you if you have the vision of what you want and you clearly state it as opposed to assuming because that assumption is also born out of the patriarchal system assuming that the house will run itself assuming that you know simply because um the man the man mm-hmm. right that everything will kind of fall in place you understand assuming that the wife is going to be there to take care of things and i don't have to uh basically give of my free sunday <laughs> i don't have to give of myself emotionally and otherwise right if i can just uh provide you know but the thing about patriarchy is even in instances where the man is not providing they still want all the benefits or they assume that all the benefits will be there you've seen where people who have no means are basically loading it over you know their over families their family. yeah. that's patriarchy you see what i'm saying so the the mm-hmm. i i like your point I'm, I'm still trying to wrap this up okay still trying to wrap it up. okay i like your point that i know what you want mm-hmm. but i think the fundamental issue comes yeah. when the two people want two different, different things, things and the expectation is that we should want the same thing well that may be an issue but what do you think the wife wants now in in this sense you understand i'm saying that even the assumption that things are going to be a certain way for from a man's perspective Mm -hmm. is something that is socialized from patriarchy because you assume that because you are married then things are going to just kind of fall in place without much effort Okay. You understand? And that's what I'm saying, that even that itself, it's a system of saying, you know, why should I have to work hard at this thing? It should be working itself out, it sort of. Uh, it should be automatic. I mean, you bring Essentially, up a point. don't make assumptions. I think that's what yeah. I'm saying. Don't make right? an answer to yourself, right? <laughs> <laughs> I need to yeah, that you should cut it out. <laughs> So, so and, and remember I said you have to kind of cast your vision for what you want your family to be, your own dynamics, and recognize that that vision is not stagnant. It can evolve. But here's the thing. It can about, change. That's what change. Did, I, I hear the socialization mm-hmm. wrapped into that word. Cast mm-hmm. your vision for what your family wants to look like. Mm-hmm. It already predisposes that the man's vision will be the predominant one. No, when I say vision, relational, both visions. No, no, no. No. See, but I'm just saying, you said cast your vision. Yeah. My, the picture I have in my head. Mm-hmm. I give mm-hmm. it a same. Mm-hmm. And this is us that we've known each other for how long. Mm-hmm. But what I get in my head is okay, what I 
okay, the man wants mm-hmm. for the same is what I can. Mm-hmm. What you had in your mind is what both of us want. Have. Like, but even... I'm saying, right? Mm-hmm. If you say what you want, then the other partner can say, ha, this thing is not possible. Okay. In the context of the society we live in. And they may not say it as nicely as I'm saying no, it. That's what I'm about to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's they may not say it as nicely as I'm saying it. Like, what on earth are you thinking? Like, who do you think is going to do X, Y, Z, Z, Z? Underneath all of that is a thing of saying, this arrangement is not working for us. It's not going to work. You understand? When somebody says, who do you think is going to do this? Who do you think? When women complain about emotional labor and all of that, it's a cry for help. It's really saying, this arrangement is not working. It's not working. It's benefiting only one person. It's just that it then comes about as nagging and, you know, pushing through. Mm-hmm. So when I'm saying, what do you want? And that's why I'm saying there's an assumption there. Because most men assume that it will go a certain way. If people were to come out and state what they want, they will realize if a marriage can work or not. And that becomes my second question. That mm-hmm. becomes my next mm-hmm. question. As in, all this, it's... People come out and say what, what they really want. Mm-hmm. So, the, the institution of marriage is, is on shaky ground. So why are we all working on assumptions then? This is my problem. That's the assumption I'm talking about. Everyone assumes that things are just going to be status quo, be the way we've always known it, without making any efforts. Fundamentally, that will be a problem down the road, which is why down the road, what people want changes. Mm -hmm. What people see changes. There are so many things that come into the picture, which is why I said that vision should not be stagnant. It should be something that you keep evaluating you understand even the simple question what do you want it strikes fear into people's hearts because it's like ah, this thing you're asking change, me change you understand change is about to come can i even answer the question do you understand mm. because so people don't know what they want but they assume that you know what they want and you should be doing what they want wow yeah 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 okay. yeah yeah okay so essentially never make assumptions about your spouse about your marriage in fact about anything Right? So I guess. And the way not to make assumptions is to ask yourself first the question, what, what do what? I want? And then ask your spouse, <laughs> what do you want? And it's okay to say, what I want has changed, right? And then you can okay, sit down and have that conversation as it were, uh, and not by acting it out, which is projection. <laughs> and back to the projection thing again. All so, right. Yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Mm-hmm. We're not done with this, yep. obviously. We'll probably but come back. We'll yeah, have to yeah, come yeah. back. But just think about this yeah. in your relationships mm-hmm. at home, at work. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you want? And I mean, is it a safe enough space to have, that, have that conversation, conversation. without yep. any type of mm-hmm. projection mm-hmm. and or mm-hmm. retribution? <laughs> 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 yeah okay From our family to your family thank yeah. you for tuning in and we'll be here next week with uh some more um i don't know projective conversations, conversations. <laughs> <laughs> all right bye. bye for now don't forget to like share subscribe. subscribe i will see you next week bye-bye